What's up team? This is my 100th video and I just want to thank you for being a part of this channel. If you've watched one video, if you've subscribed, thank you so much. Your support is appreciated. And today I want to talk about the negative thoughts that we get that keep us from being at peace with ourselves. Do you ever get those negative thoughts popping into your mind? Whenever everything seems to be going really well, there's no reason for you to be thinking about your health, your financial situation, or your relationship in a negative way. But something, something just keeps popping into your mind. You start worrying about the most ridiculous things. We start feeling all anxious just because life is going too well for us. I wanted to know about this because this happened to me recently. I started getting really anxious. I can't sleep at night. And I start worrying about my, my back pain. I start worrying about my heart. I'm like, is, do I have a heart condition? Am I unhealthy? When I know none of these things are true, but this is just my mind trying to stop me from feeling good. Because I'm addicted to these emotional states. When I don't have something to worry about, I have to find something to worry about. And what happiness really is, is to be in a peaceful state when there's nothing for you to think about. So when you don't have to worry about work, when you don't have to worry about your financial situation, when you don't have to worry about health, are you going to be okay? Sometimes this is the thing that is stopping us from fully succeeding, from real success. Because we won't have anything to attach on to if we get healthy. If we, if we become wealthy or if we have a relationship, we won't have something to worry about. We get addicted to these, these things. But this is okay. Because then we can really take a look at ourselves and we can start to dismantle all these limiting beliefs. Like that it's too good to be true. Man, I, I dealt with this one for a long time. It's too good to be true. There's no way, there's no way she loves you. There's no way that you can make that amount of money doing what you want to do. Forget about the it's too good to be true. Unless it's a $5 workout program that says it's going to get you shredded in like two days. That's probably too good to be true. We can't, we can also be realistic, but I'm talking about when you get into a relationship and things are going amazing. Why does it have to be too good to be true? When you get a new job opportunity, your boss is amazing. Your pay is great. You feel appreciated. Why does that have to be too good to be true? It doesn't. So remove those negative thoughts. Flip the script. We forget that we're allowed to just be at peace. That it's okay that things are going well for you. You deserve good things. A lot of it comes from self-worth. Do we not feel worthy of this success, of this happiness, of, of this job or this person? I'm here to tell you, forget about the guilt and the shame that you have about your past and start focusing on today, what you're doing right now, you do deserve it. You've made changes, you're a new person, you're fully improved. So you deserve great things and you deserve to be at peace. Now I understand that you can be worried and stressed out about some things and sometimes this is a good thing because this pushes us to grow, this pushes us to move further and to achieve some things and maybe to help other people. But that's what we need to use it for. We can't be doing everything to the best of our abilities and still shoot ourselves in the foot. We're all going to have these negative thoughts appear from time to time. I deal with them. You probably deal with them. But we don't always have to believe what's going on upstairs. We have things in the place to help us deal with our anxiety, to help us deal with the stress and these negative thoughts. When these negative thoughts pop into your mind, switch it to something positive. Flip the script. It's too good to be true. Nah, it's too good and it's too true. If you're feeling anxious, maybe you have to switch something up in your life. I had to delete Instagrams, YouTube, and my YouTube studio from my phone so that I'm not checking it all the time. There's no reason I'm do I should be doing that. All it's doing is keeping me from being in my own thoughts and dealing with my own emotions. When you start just spending time with yourself and not always having your phone playing, Maybe we can analyze our thoughts and analyze the things that are going on. We can understand why we're feeling a certain type of way. We can understand maybe that this habit isn't making us feel the best. Maybe if I remove the devices and I just start hanging out with myself a little more, I'll be able to think about what I really want to do, what I really want to talk about. So yeah, this week I dealt with a little bit of negative thoughts, negative emotions. I had anxiety a few nights. 
but it's all good. These things happen. We have to learn to deal with and manage our emotions, and it's okay. You can talk to your friends, you can talk to your family, you can go hire somebody to talk to, but you can also put little things into place that will help you manage these emotions. Just remember that, hey, your mind and all of these thoughts aren't you all the time. Maybe you have to unattach from your phone. Allow yourself to just spend time with you and get to know what's really going on. But you deserve to be at peace with yourself. So keep going, take action on your goals, and keep accomplishing your dreams. Remember, I'm just here to ignite your passion. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button for me. Peace and one love, always.